Hey, what's up everyone? This is Kevin Kim, and you're watching XSplit Monthly, episode number two. In this episode, we'll first check out our XSplit family community updates, so check it out. For community meetups this month, we were able to sponsor the event in Vancouver. And as always, if you'd like us to support your event as well, make sure to DM us on our social media. All right. So this big fighting game tournament, EVO, is coming up very soon, and XSplit will be definitely present. Uh, we're gonna be running a panel featuring Maximilian, Gutex, and Spooky. So if you're a fan of them, or just fans of fighting games in general, make sure to check it out. If you also like to hear some international news regarding fighting games, we also have some interview clips available with the Spirit Zero team in Korea. And with the local news, uh, we've hosted a small workshop session for the team at BrandPro with their influencers and streamers. Hopefully they leveled up their streaming tech. Following up from the recent VidCon announcement, YouNow's cryptocurrency props has been approved by the SEC. And in relation, XSplit is also developing a plugin for the YouNow output. So that's it from our XSplit family updates. Moving on to our XSplit product updates, we now have the Express Video Editor available as a standalone product. And to fill us in more about it, here's Dino from our product development team. Hi everyone, I'm Dino, a product manager here at XSplit. We've recently come out with the XSplit Express Video Editor, a free tool that allows you to cut and export videos from your live streams. You could have been streaming for like five hours, three hours, 10 hours, and if you want just a quick cut, maybe you had one 10 second highlight, that was cool. You could drop it in the editor, cut it out. It's been in the app since around 2014, but it would be nice to get more people to try it. So now we've launched Expert Express Video Editor as its own app. At launch, it's gonna be the same Expert Express Video Editor, but with a fresh coat of paint, it's gonna allow you to quickly edit MP4 videos, H.264 videos, common stuff that you got from your streams. And, and the way we do this is we allow you to export all these clips, all these projects at really fast speeds. So you don't have to waste time in editing too much. Expert Video Editor allows you to not just add and edit clips, but if you've recorded multi-track audio clips from Expert Broadcaster, you can actually choose which track you wanna export. So let's say you wanna take away your Discord audio, just focus on the game audio. You can do that in Expert Video Editor and export just that clip or even a whole bunch of clips that you've changed the audio tracks on. Now this initial release of Expert Express Video Editor is sort of a early access phase and we wanna get it out there and see how you use it. So let us know, you know what kind of features you want and as much as possible, we're gonna try to keep it the same lightweight Express Video Editor. Everyone has different types of content, everyone has different needs and it would be really awesome to work with the community to make XSplit Express Video Editor the best editor it could be. So if you guys want to get in touch with us, the Discord is always open. It's at discord.gg slash XSplit and can't wait to hear from you guys. Thanks Dino for that update. And we now move on to our XSplit Academy to talk about how to optimize your YouTube workflow. Hey, it's Lewis. I'm back again for XSplit Academy. And today we're going to talk about how you can optimize your YouTube workflow using the Express Video Editor. So first there's some settings in XSplit that you're gonna to wanna to set up. Go to Tools and Settings, and then go to the Hotkeys tab, and set a hotkey for Insert Cue Point and for Take a Screenshot. Next, set up a scene with an intro video and an outro video. When you start your stream, go to the intro video, and then go into your main stream. And then before you end your stream, make sure you go to the outro video. This will help later with editing. So if you want the highest quality for YouTube, I recommend making a local recording of your stream if you go to your local recording settings, if you have the option for VCE, NVENC, or QuickSync, I recommend using these because then you won't take away CPU resources that you use for encoding. Some other useful options include splitting your recordings based on time. This will make it easier to go through the VODs, especially if they're long. Also creating multi-track recordings. This will create multiple audio tracks. We actually made an extended video on this, which you can see on the link above. So when you're streaming and recording, if something crazy happens in your gameplay or there's a highlight, make sure to hit the insert cue point hotkey that you set. This will be useful later. Now that you're finished streaming and recording, open the Express Video Editor and drop the file in. If you use the hotkey or switch scenes, you'll see the cue points and this will make it a lot easier to edit. You just cut down your file as you like. If you use multi-track audio, you can switch which audio track you wish to use. One good tip is if you can get a short clip of a highlight, you can export this directly and use it on Twitter or Instagram. When you're finished with your edit, click export project, and now you'll have your final file ready. 
but we're not done just yet. One of the best ways to get views on YouTube is to have a nice thumbnail. So what you want to do is you want to take your edited file, drop it back into XSplit, and find a point in the video that you think will be good for the thumbnail. And then add stuff like text or images or modification on top of it using XSplit. Then take a screenshot of that and there you go, you have your thumbnail. Really useful if you don't have the Photoshop skills or someone else to help you out with your thumbnails. So now all you need to do is upload your video on YouTube, add your thumbnail, add your title, add your description, and you're good to go. So hopefully that helped you with your YouTube workflow. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a question down below. If you'd like to see some of the Academy stuff from the previous episode, make sure to check our past episode. And as always, please subscribe to our channel for more information.